Facebook, or follow us on Twitter at FL Powerboat, or just check us out online. We're back with our final segment of Power Boating in Paradise TV as we fly over Gilberts and Key Largo, where the first round of the four-day Miami Boat Show Poker Run is well underway. Randy Wild runs his 40-foot MTI on several FPC Poker Run events, and even though he's got Mercury Racing 525s, he can run triple-digit speeds all day long. Don't confuse Little Speed Racer with this boat, the Big Daddy Speed Racer, owned by Bob Christie. This 44 MTI is a little longer, but it's packed with some big Potter Performance 1000s. The only other difference is with the open cockpit, you can really feel the speed in this boat. Here's a big 50-foot Outer Limits catch, which keeps its home right here in South Florida for the winter months. Buddy Thomas powered this big rig with Mercury Racing 1075s, and Gold Digger has turned out to be quite a showstopper on these Florida Powerboat Club events. Steve McEachern is from the Charlotte, North Carolina area, and that might explain why he's got a little race fuel running through his veins. He just loves going fast in his 36 skater called Rooster Tails and Cocktails. It's a catchy boat name and still one of my favorites. Andy Grover joined us on our last event to Key West, and he's back again from Germany to do it all over again in this outrageous 50-foot Nortec Super V powered by big Lycoming turbine engines. Here's Walter and Donna Molish from New Jersey who have been enjoying these poker runs since the mid-90s. Back then it was in the formula, but now it's this 40-foot skater called Team Madness. Look for this boat on the t-shirt artwork for the Tampa Bay Poker Run, March 31st. John Lombardi has been around the FPC events for several years in a variety of boats, but this 38 power play has stood the test of time and always runs strong with these enormous Cobra Power 1200s. We'd like to welcome our new sponsor, Vibe Nightclub from Fort Lauderdale, who joined us for the Poker Run. We see a lot of boats registered in Delaware for tax reasons, but this one really is from Delaware. This is Michael Adamus in his 42 Outer Limits out of De Niro. Derek Wachab from Oklahoma is never out of big surprises, and this time it was five times bigger. At least that's how many Mercury Racing 350 Verados he packed onto the transom of his very first cigarette Huntress, another boat that was featured at the Miami Boat Show just a week earlier. Boats Direct USA is based in Key Largo, and they entered two Fountain Center consoles on the poker run. Both boats were on display back at the Miami Boat Show, and this was the perfect way to get them back to the dealership in Key Largo. Hey, how's the ride there, Captain Bill? Alder Waters is another member who's a long way from home in Oklahoma. He says he loves his new Cigarette 39 sport boat with triple Mercury Verados, and we'll get a chance to jump on board for a little ride through the Florida Keys in just a little bit. And for our big grand finale for the Thursday aerial coverage, here's two statement SUVs, one powered by Mercury Verados, one powered by Cummins Mercury's or Diesels. And both of them were big hits at the Miami Boat Show just a week earlier. It's getting close to the end of the show, and I know you guys out there are almost in tears because you haven't seen a bikini in, what, 10 minutes? So with no further agony to our male audience, we're proud to showcase the lovely and talented girls of FPC as they had a little fun on the hot fiberglass at the Postcard Inn. So here's Mandy, Sarah, and Caitlin to entertain you. Okay, that's enough for now, guys, as we join Brad Benson and his crew on Team Pass Blocker, a former NFLer turned poker runner. We're jumping on board with Aldo Waters and Alpha Tango to get some nice shots of this ride through the Upper Keys as we head to Isla Mirada. It's a short but scenic ride, just 20 miles from Key Largo to Isla Mirada, and it wasn't long before the group was arriving at the all-new Postcard Inn, formerly known as the world-famous Holiday Isle Resort and Marina. The resort got rave reviews from our attendees as the first round of hotel room and property renovations were recently completed and many guests were happy to return. 
Resort management also promises that the much needed marina facelift is on the books and will soon be underway. But we'll be leaving this gang to have fun in the Florida Keys as we soon return to Miami for round two of the Miami Boat Show Poker Run. In our next episode, we'll have all the parties, all the highlights, more awesome power boats and a big raft up party sponsored by Power Boat Nation. Our next poker run is the Tampa Bay Poker Run, March 31st from the Vinoy Resort in St. Petersburg. If you want to get in on the fun, call us now to get registered. This is Stu Jones, and thanks for watching Power Boating in Paradise TD.